In this episode of Shanksy's Builds, we are going to build this bottom end, we're going to check piston height, and we're going to install some OEM parts, wind hearts. This bottom end's coming together pretty good. We are loving the way it looks. Come along for the journey. We've got some new piston squirters, we've got some other little bits and pieces. Brand new oil cooler and oil cooler housing. We'll fit up the rings that we previously gapped in the video before. Go and check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I'll chuck a link up in the right hand side of the screen if you haven't seen that already. I'm just going to install these piston pin retainer clips. Going to get them all in one side, they're pretty annoying to do so I'm just going to quickly run through that. Then we're going to throw the rods on the pistons and start piecing it together. Righto, rods and pistons are about to go in. It's got the assembly lube on the piston pin. And these rods have been finished beautifully from Galloway's Engineering. They just slide in so nice. Just like that she's in. This thing looks like a beast. Rod and piston, boy. Keen to put these in the hole. And now for the quick time lapse to get the other ones smashed out. If you're chasing a set of connecting rods from MRX with their Performance X Beam Pro S's for all the 1KD engines. Just hit up the page, click me a DM and we can sort it out for you. Right, those piston rods are on. We're going to throw the rings on. And everyone's got a few different ways of doing that, but I've got these mad little cheap blue point piston ring um, pliers. And we're going to just easily slot them into the groove. <laughs> KPN is king of junkyard builds. He will be a good one to get in when he comes down. Yeah. yeah he's got all the junkyards slapped together. O-ring the block himself. Honed it in the dirt, in the Pilbara dirt. <laughs> honed, like, honed just driving it around. We have a brand new ARP piston ring compressor, which is 3.8 inches in diameter, which is also perfectly 96.5 millimeters, which is exactly our bore for this 201 KD, which is half a mil oversized. We are talking down the rods, the crank, and the girdle for the last time, and this bottom end will be together by the end of this episode with an additional engine oil cooler, brand new OEM parts uh, and oil cooler housing. I replace all the bolts from Toyota. It just adds to the clean build that we like to do here.
just checking the crank still rotates freely here. And it feels beautiful. Righto, now we're checking the piston height. And on average, we check it in two spots at the front and back, and then we take the average measurement. And it's been around 0.2 of a millimeter, both sides on average. And that means that with the Toyota manual, the specification for that piston protrusion is head gasket E, which is the thickest head gasket Toyota make for the 1KDs, um, but that's fine because obviously the piston is sticking out of the block a little bit the compression is high we don't want the piston to touch the valves so we use the one mil head gasket and we're going to install these brand new piston squirters as you can see here all buttoned up as my brother would like to say we get a brand new oem oil cooler and we always like to replace those and we also replace the oil cooler housing and that just tidies it up a little bit but obviously, if you're doing an engine rebuild, you can't clean out the oil coolers, so make sure you replace them. Unless it's a junkyard build, it doesn't matter, and reuse it. Man, hasn't this engine turned out absolutely beautiful? I'm so stoked. We've got the bottom end together, and if you've liked this episode, guys, considering giving the channel a follow and a like, I'd really appreciate it. And in this next episode, we're going to install the race head. It's got some pretty trick gear. We've had the head ported and polished. We've got some back cut stainless exhaust valves. We've got some brand new OEM parts, wind hearts, camshafts. And then we'll have the long motor together. And then we can start bolting on the fun stuff. So if you stayed to the end of the video, appreciate it, guys. This is Shanksy's Builds, and I'll see you on the next one.